starting to move up for the first event on the program. Kenny Vespa has joined the line. Great Price about to link along for rider Jeanette Hasty. So we've got Kenny Vesper in the stalls. Great Price about to join the line. Unfortunately, a bit gusty wind here today at Swifts Creek. Not a lot we can do about it, apart from eat more mild food the night before. Now, Kenny Vesper's in the stalls. Great Price about to join the line. Race number one here, it's over a thousand metres, the John and Frank Casey maiden handicap. So we've got Kenny Vesper in and the rest to move into the iron contraption for race number one here at Swift's. <laughs> Where's Mick? There he is. <laughs> Just working on this one, uh, great price. Rider Jeanette Hassey out of the saddle and they're trying to push it forward. <laughs> Kenny Vesper's been in for a while. Again, they try and get this one, great price, into line. The other sudden love out behind the line, along with Sterling Park. Walking it up again, great price. Again, it digs the, uh, the feet in. Tendons on either side trying to bundle it into the stalls here. Three quarters of the way in and then backs away again. Great price. Walked away again. Kenny Vesper's the only one in. Great Price still being walked around. They may even try and back this one into line. Open the front of the barriers and back it in. Same way, it'll be right. Kenny Vesper's set. Sudden Love about to join the line. Right, of Jeanette Hassey climbs back aboard a great price. Sudden Love walks straight forward. Sterling Park will be the last one along for rider Mary Hudson. Just about set for the first now. Sterling Park, the last one to link along. Thousand metres the journey that John and Frank Casey made in handicap race one here at Swifts Creek. Rather a windy day. Now it's moved up Sterling Park and they're set for the first. A thousand the journey. Ready for race one. Starter grabs the button. All set. Ready. Starter holds them. They're racing this time. Slow to go there, Canny Vespa through its head in the air. Sutton Love won the start. Leads half a length, settling down from Great Price, getting up along the inside. They're followed by Sterling Park about two lengths away. And five away, last of all, Canny Vespa along the side they come. Sutton Love the leader, now by a length over in second place in Great Price. Third occupied there by Sterling Park and Canny Vespa drops out to five lengths last of all. Along the side at about the 500 metre mark now and Sutton Love. Three quarters in front of Great Price again moving up to its girth on the outside. They're about three in front then on Sterling Park third and last of all is Canny Vespa about eight lengths away. Down the side they come 400 to go. Great Price is the leader now. Getting right up along the inside Sterling Park in third placing now is Sutton Love under the bat and last of all is Canny Vespa they wheel the home turn and Great Price straightens up narrowly in front. Sterling Park switches to the outside, is out after it. Sterling Park the outside and Great Price the inside. Sterling Park doing the better for Mary Hudson and
and Sterling Park by a length and three quarters on the line. Great Price was second. Uh, third placing there went to Canny Vesper and uh, last of all was Sutton Love. Sterling Park. Stand by for the official placings to come through. On race number one, the John and Frank Casey maiden handicap over 1,000 metres. Numbers about to come up officially on race number one. You'll find Sterling Park will be the winner. Great Price will be second and Canny Vesper will be third. They'll be five, three and one. We'll confirm those in a moment from the judge. The race, uh, number, one, uh, number five, Sterling Park. Number five, Sterling Park, the winner. A brown gelding six years by Labinius from Tranquillo. Owned by B. Doble, also trained by B. Doble down at Pagenham and ridden by Mary Hudson. Second placing going to three great price by Rare Pearl from Tippy Taps, L.F. Cranston at Maui, the trainer, Jeanette Hassey, the rider. And third to one, Canny Vesper by Monsalvat from Rigar. This is G.M. Ganley at Bensdale, the uh, trainer, and uh, P. Scott, the rider. Officially fourth went to two, Sutton Love, Rob Kirkpatrick. The margins for the race were a length and a half by two, one and a half by two, 60.5 at the time in the first, 60.5 at the time, length and a half by two on the placings of five, three and one. Tat's turf moves forward, North Carolina is set. Uncle Bushy will be the last one along. 1,000 metres the journey here of the second event on the program. Uncle Bushy will be the last one to complete the line. It's uh, back about 20 metres or so from the start at the moment. And uh, backing away as we speak. So the three in the stalls are North Carolina along with uh, Star Hotel and Tats Turf. And just the one to move up, Uncle Bushy. And they'll be set for the running of race number two here. Uncle Bushy about to be led towards the starting stalls. In fact, Rob Kirkpatrick jumps out of the saddle now and they'll lead this one up riderless. Uncle Bushy. Now it moves in. Uncle Bushy's in and they're set to go. Rob Kirkpatrick jumps back aboard a thousand the journey. Already race number two. Field settles. Ready to go. Set, he lets them go, they're racing, they came out as one Tats Turf, he's back slightly, uh, shortly after the start. Uncle Bushy up there in the early stages with North Carolina taking it on that pair together. Length and a half back Tats Turf and neck away last of all was Star Hotel. Along the side of the track they go towards the 750 metre mark and the leader now North Carolina on the outside by half length over Uncle Bushy the inside. About three or four away then in the field came Star Hotel, it's on the inside of Tats Turf last of all. Along the side they they come 500 out and the leader now a clear leader North Carolina by two or three in front of Uncle Bushy second they're followed by Tats Turf and back at the rear of the field was Star Hotel along the side they come with 300 to go and North Carolina is the leader North Carolina three in front Tats Turf working into it round the outside followed by Uncle Bushy under the bat and last of all Star Hotel in the straight and North Carolina in front by a length Tats Turf coming at it on the outside Tats Turf's gone past North Carolina Tats Turf drawing clear near the line and Tats Turf by two and a half on the line North Carolina Uncle Bushy third and last of all was Star Hotel wait the numbers race number two Tats Turf will be the winner here Jeanette Hassey number two Tats Turf we'll wait on the judges to give us the official placings and confirm them but you'll find Tats Turf will be the winner here over North Carolina and Uncle Bushy should be third. They should be 2 1 and 3 after race number 2. There's our uh, winner returning, Tats Turf, after the running of race number 2 on the program. Number 2, Tats Turf. Tats Turf owned by WN Switzer and trained by that person at Bensdale. The winner, a brown gelding six years by Sovereign Slipper from Princess Tania. Jeanette Hassey, the rider, second place into 1 North Carolina by Northern Spring from Royal Caroline, J.L. Jarvis at Pakenham, the trainer, Mary Hudson, the rider, 
third to three Uncle Bushy by Toll Spring from Rocket Queen. Rob Kirkpatrick at Stony Creek, the uh, trainer, and uh, Rob Kirkpatrick, the rider. So the placings there, two, one, and three after race number two. The margins for the length, uh, journey were a length by two, one by two, 60 seconds the time. Winner of the winner of the second race here at uh, Swifts Creek, number two, Tats Turf. Tats Turf is a brown gelding six years by Sovereign Slipper from Princess Tania. WN Switzer, the owner and trainer at Bensdale. Jeanette Hassey, the rider. Second placing to one North Carolina by Northern Spring from Royal Caroline. JL Jarvis at Pakenham. Jim Jarvis, the trainer, and Mary Hudson, the rider. And third to three, Uncle Bushy by Toll Spring from Rocket Queen. R.C. Kirkpatrick at Stony Creek, the trainer, and Rob Kirkpatrick, the rider. Officially fourth to six star Hotel Reg Manning. Margins a length by two, one by two, and 60 seconds the time on the second here at Swifts Creek. Runners coming onto the track here for the Tambo Valley Cup. Sponsored by Cooper's Animal Health and uh, Tullock Jenkin. Now, uh, we haven't heard uh, 3UZ announcers yet that they're holding Flemington for us here at Tambo Valley. So we take it that uh, we will run a few minutes late because Flemington is due at 20 past two. <laughs> Number three coming up here at uh, Swifts Creek and the runners are about to move in for the main event of the day, the Cooper's Animal Health and Tullock Jenkin Tambo Valley Cup, Class 6 event, and they're starting to move in. Security risk has moved up for the cup here. River Jess moving in. Race three, the Cooper's Animal Health and Tullock Jenkin Tambo Valley Class 6 Cup. Now, security risk, River just in. Frano's joined the line with Deep Talent. Just a couple to move up here for the Cup. They being Bay of Blue, which has joined the line now. True Print walks into the outside barrier, and now they're set. Tambo Valley Cup for 1991, all in the stalls. 1600, the journey race run in memory of Lockie Lawson. They're set to go. Ready, lets them go. They're racing in the cup. A fairly even dispatch. Security wrist down near the inside begun as well as anything. River Jest up on the outside second, followed by Deep Talent. Frano in behind them. Wider out on the track, there was Bay of Blue. And last of all is True Print. Past the judge with a lap to go in the cup and out of the straight. Towards the 1300 metre mark they stride. River Jest takes over in front. Deep Talent second. Getting up along the inside is Security Risk. They're followed by Frano. Bay of Blue next on the outside. And Dropping out to last of all is True Print. They work their way towards the 1100 metre mark in the cup. River Jess, the leader. Over on the outside, Deep Talent about a length away second. Security Risk the rails is third. They're followed by True Print, Frano and Bay of Blue. Into the back straight they head at the 900 metre mark. River Jess a length and a half in front. Deep Talent second on the outside of Security Risk third the rails. They're followed by further back came True Print. Over on the outside is Bay of Blue and Frano brings up the rear. Along the back they they go 700 meters out in the cup river just the leader by a length deep talent second on the outside security risk on the inside then came bay of blue as they start to bunch in behind them true print and last of all now is frano along the side they come river jess still a length and a quarter in front security risk getting up on the inside third placing deep talent followed by frano improving they're followed by bay of blue and last of all is true print bouts around the home turn in the cup river just the leader security risk could be the danger on the outside out after it. They're followed by Frano at the head of the rest in the straight. River just in front. Frano the inside. Security risk the outer three together. Security risk on the outside. Frano poking up along the inside. Security risk. Security risk is just one. Now it's close for second and third. Frano the inside. River just in the centre. A great finish in the cup. In behind them came a Bay of Blue. They're followed by True Print and Deep Talent. Marvellous finish to the cup here. Security risk over on the outside. River Jest was in the centre and Frano was on the inside. We'll wait for the judges' numbers. Security risk the one on the outside. 
may have just won here. River Jess was in the centre and Frano was closer to the inside. Three together with 50 metres to go. And there are the numbers. Number 10, Security Risk is the winner. Number 10, Security Risk the winner. Over one River Jest in the second, in the centre second. And seven, Frano on the rails third in a tremendous finish to the cup. Here's our winner of the cup returning. Winner of the winner of the cup about to return to scale. The winner, number 10, Security Risk, written by Mary Hudson. Security Risk, a bay gelding seven years by Palaban from Rob the Mint. LJ Griss, the owner and trainer at Bairnsdale, and Mary Hudson, the rider. Number 10, Security Risk, the winner of the cup over number one River Jest by Moss Bay from our hostess Alec Manning at sale, the trainer Reg Manning the rider and third went to seven Frano by Fralo from Nola J.S. Sandy at Bairnsdale the trainer and Rob Kirkpatrick the rider ahead by a half head the margins 1.40 the time after race number three the Coopers Animal Health and Tullock Jenkin Tambo Valley Cup for 1991 Kenny Vesper is in on the inside and Flying Consul about to join the line. Flying Consul moves up, they're all set. Ready for a start here at Swifts Creek. Race number four, they're set, they're racing this time. Missing it slightly there, Flying Consul. Coming away smartly there was Canny Vespa. It'll lead on settling down Canny Vespa. Now hunting up along the inside, Flying Consul. And Asitano drops to last of all. Past the judge with a lap to go. The leader, Flying Consul, with uh, 1,400 metres to go, leads them towards the side of the track. In second placing now is Canny Vespa as one of the uh, flags bites the dust there. And Asitano back at the rear of the field. Towards the back of the track they go. Flying Consul, the leader, by two. Two lengths now over in second place in Canny Vespa. And three away last of all is Asitano. Heading towards the 1,000 metre mark now. And flying console for Robbie Kirkpatrick. Bowling along two or three in front now. Over in second place in Canny Vespa. And about a length and a half to two lengths back in last placing is Asitano. Along the back they go. 900 metres from home. And the leader is flying console In second placing about two lengths away came Canny Vespa. And two away last of all still is Asitano. Along the side of the track. They've got more than halfway now and the leader is Flying Consul. Only by a length and a half over Canny Vespa getting a bit closer now. And third and last of all about a length and a half to two lengths back in last placing is Asitano. Along the side of the track they come and the leader Flying Consul moving up quickly though. Over on the inside, outside is Canny Vespa now to join it. And a length and a half back in last placing is Asitano. Canny Vespa's race to the lead with 300 to go prior to turning for home over Flying Consul. Then came Asitano Tano spotting this leader about three or four on the home turn. Kenny Vespa straightens up in front for Jeanette Hassey. Down the outside is Asitano. It's Ka in front though, Kenny Vespa and Kenny Vespa. Kenny Vespa for Jeanette Hassey. Three lengths on the line, Asitano. About three away last of all was Flying Console. That's why I'm a student. <laughs> I'm not a punter. Pinch that one down the side. Prior to turning for home, Jeanette Hassey on that one, Kenny Vespa. Moved up to the early pacemaker, Flying Consul. Shot it to the lead on the turn. As Satano had got back, then started motoring home when it was all over, but uh, the bird had flown and Canny Vespa the winner. Let's have a look at it. Right, Eddie. Winner returning here at uh, Swifts Creek. The winner of the race, number four. Number four, Canny Vesper, the winner. A chestnut mare, four years by 
Monsal Vat from Regar, LG and Mrs. GM Ganley, the owners. Mrs. GM Ganley at Bensdale, the trainer. Jeanette Hassey, the rider. Second placing going to uh, number one, Asitano. By Air Presumptive from Cheeky Character, J.S. Sandy, Bensdale, the trainer. Reg Manning, the rider. And uh, third placing to six flying Consul by first Consul from Fool's Head. Miss J.D. Robinson at Stony Creek, the trainer. And uh, Rob Kirkpatrick, the rider. The margin three lengths by two, three by two, the time 144 after race number four. Working on this one, security risk. Not moving up at the moment. The others. Sentry's name in with Burnside Sam. Security risk about to join the line. Frano will be the one to complete the line. Security risk in. Frano about to move forward. 1,200 metres our journey here. Now they're all set. Frano's joined the line. They're set to go. 1,200 metres the journey. JD and J.O. Gibson, Class D handicap. They're ready for a start. All stand well. Tendons in with uh, Burnside Sam. Now they're set, ready, he lets them go. They're racing this time. Fairly even dispatch, two centuries. Name might have won the start narrowly on the inside, being taken on early by Burnside Sam. Burnside Sam in front from centuries. Name second. They're followed by in third placing came security risk. And Frano is last of all. Past the thousand metre mark they stride. And the leader is Burnside Sam by a length and a half over security risk second. Centuries name up along the inside. And last of all is Frano. Along the back of the track they go. And Burnside Sam still a length in front. Century's name up along the inside second. Security risk gets outside is third. And last of all is Frano. Down the side of the track they come. And Burnside Sam, the leader by a length. Security risk moving around the outside. They're followed by Century's name and Frano improving. As they come along the side of the track, 400 metres to go. Again, Burnside Sam draws a length in front. Security risk trying hard. Frano right around the outside. And now last of all is Century's name. They're about to round the home turn. And the top weight, Burnside Sam leads narrowly. Frano's out after it, followed by security risk. Into the straight. Burnside Sam kicks. It's over a length in front. Coming at it now. Frano on the outside. Frano moving up. Burnside Sam kicking back. Frano. Frano's got there by a nose in the last stride to Burnside Sam. Security risk was third and last in was Century's name. I think that tricked a few of you. Runners returning to scale now after race number five here at Swifts Creek. Runners coming back to scale. The winner, number three, Frano. Frano is a bay gelding four years by Frano from Nola. J.S. Sandy at Bensdale, the trainer. Rob Kirkpatrick, the rider. Frano, the winner of race number five on the program. Second placing going to one Burnside Sam by Sabre Prince from Mercy Queen. P.T. Gray at Sale, the trainer. And Jeanette Hassey, the rider. And a third to two security risk by Palaban from Rob the Mint. L.J. Grist at Bensdale, the trainer. P. Scott, the rider. 3-1-2, a half length by one. 113.5 was the time. Race five to J.D. and J.O. Gibson, Class D handicap. Moving up here, moving up here at uh, Swifts Creek for the final event on the program. Oh. Last event here, the one to come handicap and the runners are moving up. River Jest has joined the line on the inside. Star Hotel is ready. Bandit joins the line now. Vice like Grip still out with Who's Black and Redwood Flyer. Final event, an open class race over a journey of uh, 1,200 metres. Now Vice Like Grip moves in, Redwood Flyer joins the line, who's black to complete the line. Six to go round here in the last. 
All set. Ready in the last. One of it fractures there, settles again. They're ready, they're racing this time. River Jess jumps smartly from the inside. Bandit chasing it early. They're followed by just in behind them came Redwood Flyer out wide on the track. Further back came Vice Like Grip and dropping to the rear Star Hotel. Keenly contested a fair towards the thousand. River Jess Bandit and out wide on the track Who's Black racing towards the lead. Just in behind them Vice Like Grip followed by Redwood Flyer. About four away last of all Star Hotel. Still the old campaigner River Jess holds the lead as they head along the back. Half a length on Who's Who's Black second. They're followed by Vice Like Grip over on the inside. Bandit it's outer. A length away then came Redwood Flyer starting to improve. And back at the rear, Star Hotel is tacked on. Along the side, 600 metres from home. River Jest half a length in front of Who's Black. Vice Like Grip up on the inside. A gap back then came Star Hotel. Bandit dropping out of it and Redwood Flyer's now last of all. Along the side, River Jest about to be joined on the outside by Vice Like Grip. Vice Like Grip moves up to River Jest. That pair together as they're about to round the home turn. About four lengths away Who's Black and Star Hotel heads the rest. River Jess the inside and over on the outside. Vice Like Grip that pair together with 50 to go. On the outside Vice Like Grip might be just in front. River Jess kicking back but Vice Like Grip the top way to length on the line to River Jess. About six or seven away third was Who's Black followed by Star Hotel. A Redwood Flyer and Bandit last in. A good day's racing. A keenly contested uh, number of races here this afternoon at Swifts Creek. And there's our uh, winner of the last returning for uh, Vicky Hill, Vice Like Grip. Winner of the final event on the program here at uh, Swifts Creek, the winner of the last, number one, Vice Like Grip. Vice Like Grip, a bay gelding eight years by Vice Regal from Dondia. Miss J.D. Robinson and R.W. Skechi are the owners. Miss J.D. Robinson at Stony Creek, the trainer, and Vicky Hill, the rider. Second placing in the last went to two River Jest. River Jest by Moss Bay from our hostess. Alec Manning at Sale, the trainer. Reg Manning, the rider. And third to three, Who's Black? Who's Black by Hall Pack from Soldier Sailor. T. Hassey at Terrelgan, the trainer, and Jeanette Hassey, the rider. So the placings on the last one, two, three. The winning margin was one length, five lengths second and third, one twelve the time. Uh,